Would you play a flying game if 75% of it was just looking for fuel? Or how about a shooter where you only get two bullets at a time and it takes 15 to 20 minutes to find another one? That sound fun to you? Because it shouldn't, is, is my point. Those are games where the thing you want to do, the thing the games are supposedly about, is actually just a fraction of the game. Can't do that until you do this busy work. Can't do the fun stuff until you've walked around for a half an hour. That's Stuart Little 3 for the PlayStation 2. What a pretty rainbow. Hooray! You know, it's not that this is a bad game. In fact, Stuart Little 3 is a perfectly okay game for kids. You play as the mouse, Stuart Little, and you have to take a bunch of photos. Every level gives you photos to take before you can progress. And before you can take the photos, usually you have to play a minigame or do something for a character. Oh, and recharge your camera, because that's what kids want to do. Recharge a camera. And for all the okay things this game does, that about ruined it for me. The majority of the time you spend playing this game, by a large margin, is just walking around, trying to find the little power cells that charge your camera. And you need a freaking hundred of them for the damn thing to work, and that's just one photo. So you play the mini game, you win the race, or whatever, and now you can take the photo. Only you can't, because your camera's not charged. Get ready to walk around, which takes longer than the objective did. So it's just a cheap way of lengthening the game, and it completely sucks. I mean, I, I can't imagine a little kid doing that for long. But fortunately, the, the game beneath that isn't the worst. Each level is an open world full of little games and challenges, and as you complete those, you unlock the photo ops. Not a terrible idea, and it's actually done pretty well. The only real problem is, some of the objectives are mini-games, and some of the mini-games repeat themselves over and over. Mini-golf, racing, skateboarding. You're doing this stuff pretty much every level. And since they're not exactly the world's best mini-games, you get tired of them after the first time. I mean, I mean, this is only fun for so long. Like, minutes. Ah! Hooray! Nice score, Stewie! And I guess, for me, that that's the story with Stuart Little 3. It's an okay idea, but it's not really much fun. It's almost like you know, they had a couple mini-games, but then they had a come to Mario moment. And they were like, wait, we can't do mini-games. Our children would never forgive us. So they threw together some open worlds and put the mini-games in there. It's like hiding medicine inside the kid's ice cream. Only in this case, it's medicine-flavored ice cream. This sucks! Now, Stuart has a bunch of different vehicles he can use, which is cool. Different outfits with different abilities. Good stuff, but again, none of it's any fun. The game doesn't control very well either. You know, you play a really solid platformer or open world game, and then you play this. I mean, it's night and day. Stuart Little 3 doesn't have very tight controls at all. And the presentation's basically more the same. You know, just standard music, standard PS2 graphics, which is fitting because this is standard game design. It's just charm. that, since it's a kid's game that's not broken, it looks better than it really is. Oh, thanks for getting me the charm back. I can juggle properly now. I mean, I, I actually like the idea here. Doing tasks to take a photo, playing mini-games, collecting the photos. And this isn't the worst way to do a Stuart Little game. But the loose controls, and repetitive mini-games, and pointless camera charging gimmick, all that irritating bull just snowballs into a whole big avalanche of irritating bull This game's fun for like five minutes before it stops being fun. And then continues to stop being fun. It's Stuart Little 3! Big photo adventure for the PlayStation 2. This is no big adventure. Oh, Pee Wee had a big adventure. What's wrong, Katie? My kite's stuck in the tree and I can't get it down. No problem. I'm sure I can get it down for you. Can you? Oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you.